just wanted to give you a heads up. I was looking at the Newsbusters article this morning. We've probably seen this uh, thing going on today. It was actually uh, an update for today's date. And uh, <clears throat> it has to do with the political chaos going on in Virginia. Um, well, we know is we got a governor, a lieutenant governor, and another individual uh, all having problems in uh, their confessions, i.e., the governor and um, was it the uh, other gentleman? I forget his name, who come out and confessed before uh, it was caught by this media. Um, in a surreptitious way. Now, the biggest actor right now is this uh, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. We know that he's got uh, two sexual assault allegations. And where I caution all of us about all this is we don't know what we don't know about the Republican GOP, Tea Party, whatever. Uh, campaigns that are still out there floating around that can have this same kind of thing being discovered by them on them. Uh, this is very dangerous territory. I do think, despite the fact the left didn't want to give any uh, credence to um, Brett Kavanaugh's uh, defense, um, we have to be very careful that the weapons that uh, they use on us, uh, this was all discovered this guy's stuff was all discovered after the fact or you know during the course of it, the concern that you know he might be taking place and I guess it was a conservative blog that found this information and so it's been you know widely dispersed across the broader broader spectrum here but we don't want to run into a situation where we start um, trying things in the court of public opinion, which was what was happening with Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, this happens all the time. We know a lot of these people have a track record of doing bad things, like Hillary and Bill and, you know, others. But we, because the conservative side is generally related more to the Christian side, we want to be very careful we don't put our own selves in jeopardy, like they try to go after Donald Trump and Melanie Trump and uh, Melania, excuse me, and we live in a very dangerous time, that's all I can tell you. We live in a very dangerous time and when we start going after these people and attacking them we're gonna, well, we're gonna usually end up finding ourselves in the same boat on a different part of the ocean and um, I do think this guy is probably guilty that's just based on the credibility of the two uh, allegations made by this, the individual women um, but I, I, I just you know I wish I had the answers I wish we all knew the inside scoop on all this from the Lord's point of view but the Lord doesn't judge and this is where we get in problems with having kings and you know knights and barons over us is we have people that have maybe lesser lesser quality character attributes than we want representing us and so uh, we ha I'm sure we have them in the, Democrat in the Republican Party and uh, it just hasn't been hunted down yet. It's turning into an absolute nightmare. And based on past historical references, I'm thinking it's going to get worse and may not get better. Now, I was just watching overnight, I was watching a uh, video with uh, Mark Taylor and um, he he still... And I don't know, I'm not God, and I didn't give him messages, and, you know, I, he has a lot of hopeful things to say, that Trump is going to get another four years on top of the the, 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 the two that he's going to complete this year, the next, or next two years. He will be strongly reelected, and he is going to solve our financial problems, and God is going to heal the nation where it can be healed, or, and heal people around the world while this can be, still be done before, you know, things get cataclysmically worse but um, I'll try to post that video here shortly and you can you can listen to that 
with Gregory Hunter. Anyway, uh, to follow on with this story, I and I, there's a lot more of these I want to do, but um, uh, Chuck Todd, who who we all know, is uh, not a darling of the of the conservative realm. He he actually cautions about going too far here. Now that you know this guy has been caught, and uh, um, he didn't believe that there was a good outcome for, for to be had for Brett. But look what happened to Brett. So we you know we 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 want to be public opinion is what sways voters, and so. Whether this guy is guilty or innocent, or any of those three are guilty or innocent of being un, unable to, to justly govern, well, we know from a political point of view, we don't believe any Democrats are uh, justly able to govern. Um, we have that, I have that doubt about some uh, Republicans as well, the one that we got voted in here in Billy in North Carolina who's doing some things, or not in North Carolina, excuse me. Uh, uh, Tennessee, uh, I have a lot of a lot of reservations about him. After what he said in his speeches, he's not following through. He's doing putting on Democrats in key areas that I didn't expect him to do. He never talked about doing any of that, but that's what he's doing. And our own my own state has uh, backed the 5G rollout. So I, I put up a post earlier about the 5G rollout. If you want to go down my timeline, you'll see it. But uh, I'm just going to uh, stop the video here because this is the first time I've ever tried to do a, a screen in screen thing and I'm hoping that this will record right so if it works I'll, I'll probably be some, doing some more of these. Anyway, in conclusion on this, um, uh, this thing does does uh, really scathe uh, uh, Chuck Todd um, and his overall view of this but uh, I'm going to leave it at that and uh, we'll talk to you later.